In this video, we're going to learn the functionality of the leaderboard or classification table. It's nothing more than a classification table that updates in real time, which allows for some healthy competition between our athletes. We can even put it on the big screen in the gym, and in real time in each training session we can have that healthy competition that helps motivate them to achieve so much more. To use it, we have to go to the leaderboard tab and we click on create a new leaderboard. We're going to select all of our athletes and we're going to choose this exercise for example and we're going to give this leaderboard a name so we can identify it like for example Wolves leaderboard and the variable with which we want to filter this leaderboard they can be absolute variables like the ones we see here or relative variables based on body weight which could possibly be even more interesting for this one we're going to use the power each athlete has generated as the variable and here we're going to get a list of all of our athletes and in this case the power each of them has generated we get a classification of their entire history and we can choose how far back we want to go like from the start as in everything we have on the athlete a year ago a week ago or even just today so for them to appear here logically we have to have either completed training sessions or training sessions currently in progress this means that if I open the app and I have my athlete selected but I don't have any saved training sessions or I don't have any training sessions in progress, then logically this will appear empty. So now we're going to see how this updates in real time. So I could have, for example, my tablet connected to a TV, for example. So we could all see this screen and my athletes would each be on their tablet, iPhone, or whatever doing reps and we're going to see how this updates in real time. For this example, I'm not going to use two tablets. I'm just going to use this one so we can see this quickly. I'm going to start a new training session, and if we remember, well, let's go back. If we remember, in first place was Tony Stark with 1,757. Okay, so we're going to choose a different athlete, like for example this one, the fifth one. And we're going to do a rep that generates a lot of power so we can see how he climbs the leaderboard. Even without having, let's see, where is he here? And even without having saved the training, training session. Now, if he lifts, for example, a thousand pounds, he does a rep. 2,758. And even without having saved, if I go back to the lead, leaderboard... I open it up again, we're going to see, has to update, and here will appear, he will appear in first place now. Okay, as I said, we could have this device connected to a television, and each device that is training is using this coach's account, the leaderboard will update in real time. And up here we can see this week or just today. We can also remove or add athletes by clicking up here. We can change them, remove them, or add them, etc. We could even change the variable on which this leaderboard is based, change it to see the same classification based on different variables.